I never thought Paris would be anything other than a city I would visit occasionally. It never crossed my mind that I would be splitting my time between California, my home, and a city a whole ocean away. Settling in here as a part-time resident feels very different from being a visitor. It was raining like 15 minutes ago and now the sun's back out. <laughs> the biggest challenge I'm finding is having the courage to do things on my own when he's working and I'm not glued to his side. So it's officially my first day on my own, figuring it out. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> There's a gym nearby. I might go get a day pass there. It is actually the coolest gym I've ever seen. I'm a little nervous, not speaking the language very well and just wandering around on my own. Like I need a few things at the store. I need something in electronics. I need to go get groceries. So I'm debating if I'm gonna venture out on my own. <laughs> but this is a good test since we're gonna be spending more time here I have to get used to it. I know people speak English here, but I put a lot of pressure on myself to assimilate and do as the locals do. I'm on their territory after all. But one thing that keeps me feeling like I have it together is keeping the same routine that I have at home. Taking my supplements, checking the group chat to see what's going on at home. Also, you know what else is making me feel like home? Is watching old episodes of Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> We also started watching Perfect Match on Netflix. These shows really suck you in. So we just got out of a meeting and look where I'm standing. We are where they shot Emily in Paris. Okay, random, but that bakery right next door has some of the best quiche and millefeuille I've ever had. It was far from our apartment, but definitely worth going back. So after that meeting, we had some time to explore, so I did something that I haven't done in Paris before. So the meeting was on the opposite side of town, so I'm gonna take the subway in Paris for the first time. Because being in the back of a car for some reason makes me sick. And these are areas of Paris that I haven't seen before, so might as well see something new. In LA, using public transport just isn't common the way it is in New York or Paris. Le metro, c'est pas mal. Oui? It's <laughs> all right? <laughs> I actually loved using the subway system. It's so much faster getting anywhere you need to go. Granted, all I did was follow him because I wouldn't know the first thing about how to find my way around the metro. But as a control freak, it's always a nice feeling to just let go and let him lead. And back to private transportation. This was a different day and this spot was so good. I highly recommend it. One of the best lunches I've had in Paris. And for the most part, we cooked at home or ate at local shops near our place. But of course, date nights in Paris are a must. We also took some time to do the typical tourist activities as well. Things I hadn't done before, even though I've been to Paris a dozen times. And I'll be honest, I feel like I've been missing out because there really is so much beauty in Paris. We made a short trip out to Basilique sacre coeur It was a trek getting up there, but so worth it. Churches and cathedrals in Europe just hit different. I have a whole different level of appreciation for these places. This was a really special day. And my first time at the Louvre. It never even occurred to me to visit, but this time around I felt such a strong pull to go in there and I was like a kid in a candy store. Especially when we got to the Mesopotamian artifacts, I felt deeply connected to this section of the museum. I also felt a little uneasy because as much as I was happy to see the art and relics, I couldn't help but think that a lot of these items probably belonged somewhere else. There was obviously so much beauty throughout this place. I had moments like this a couple of times. And when I got to see her too, 
smaller than I expected. 